What's going on Collectors Optical 20 back for another video preview. Finally, we have gotten Cable out now and it's still available for pre-order at BigBadToyStore.com. I'll put the link down below. $4 shipping. They automatically double box your item so you don't have to pay extra $10. You protect your item. Plus, you can put it on a pile of loot so you can, you know, ship it all at once and save money. So let's take a look at this Deadpool right here. Um... I was excited for this initially. Honestly, it's been delayed so multiple times. So I just eventually, you know, just canceled it. And I think I'm, I think I've made the right choice. Uh, and and let me tell you why. Uh, I feel like this guy, I, I still want to get him. Don't get me wrong. I do have Deadpool. I do have uh, Colossus, whatever his name is, Steel or whatever, Man of Steel, whatever his name is, the third party one. Um, it still, as a figure, it still interests me, right? But I can see why people wouldn't go for this. There's instances here that's a little bit of an eyesore. The The prototype was amazing. Like the head sculpt, the body and all that stuff. Something happened in between. And, and you would think this would come out perfect because this has been pushed so many times, right? So many times. This shot right here, pretty good. I like it. His neck is covered. My first uh, complaint about this is the neck is too long. I just feel like the neck is too long and too skinny. Now, Josh Rodin did a tremendous amount of workout to play this role. So he was he was jacked up when he was playing this role. And that is one of the things that I noticed right away is that his body is a bit sl is slimmer than it should be than the prototype. And not only just the regular body, the arm as well. You know, it's it's smaller, the, the robotic arm, the, you know, the cyborg arm. The, the details on the body is magnificent, don't get me wrong. But if you take his shirt off like this, and I don't mind the joints. I, I, I was expecting the joints. I have no complaints about that. It's the proportion of the body. Like the shoulders are narrow. It's not big enough. It feels like we're back to 2014, the same issue with Bane. You know, like right now, we know that you can produce better bodies, bigger bodies than this. You know, use the Captain America body, you know, and, and then replace it with with arms like this. I don't know. He, I know he's not that tall, but make him wider, you know, make it shorter, something like that. This feels like a regular T is a TTM-19, something like that. Uh, the gun looks great. Everything looks great. But to put together, like the body... The head sculpt lost a little bit of details, I can I, I can tell, but it's still not bad. I mean, it's still doable. I still like it, to be quite honest with you. Um, there's a lot of things to love on this figure. Um, with me, I have Deadpool, the first Deadpool. Like I said, I, I do have the team, and I like the movie. So for sure, I'm going to get this. However, when things change like this dramatically... Um, collector seems to kind of sway the other way this has been delayed so many times is there still an interest to this i was still i'm still interested don't get me wrong but with this result i think the window for getting it cheaper just opened up i think it just did um the way how collectors are especially now in an age of no pre-order how many of these were canceled, you know, and, and, and so there's going to be a surplus of this. And even if there isn't, let's just say there's not a whole lot of pre-orders. So this is one of those limited run. So, so to speak, I like to have him, but if he sells out, I'm not going to get so upset about it. You know, like, not like Yondu, you know, when Yondu sold out, because the difference is Yondu is just such a beautiful figure, you know? Not just because he's rare, but also the fact that he's a beautiful figure. This is this is some merits too, but it also has a bunch of problems. Like, like from this shot, because it's kind of top down, you know, like looking down, the neck is such not such a big issue. But there are shots where I, you know what? Keep in mind, I do I did watch the sideshow unsealed and revealed, and to be fair, it wasn't that bad. But the shot, look at this shot right here. Look at the neck. I mean, it looks like his head is too big for his body. 
like the proportions are not just right. The arms, like the forearms is almost as big as his arm. I don't know. I don't, you know. And it's sad because it, it, look at this shot right here. This is horrible. Granting you, this is like top down, right? Like you can see at some top, you know, the top of his head on his the hair. So it kind of makes it look bigger. But it is actually not proportionate in my opinion, right? Like there's too many shots like that to come to the conclusion that, man, this, the head is too big. <laughs> it's either that or the body's too small. You know, I know this is a new body that they engineered, but why can't you get it? Like if he has the poncho, it's not too bad, right? Because it's hiding the neck, it's hiding the width of the shoulders, hiding his arms. He actually does look badass in some shots. Like I want like some shots like this. I want to get him right now. And then you get the shots where, you know, his, his, he looks like a giraffe and I'll be like, okay, this shot is pretty good too. Although you can see the head the ratio between the face and the body and, or the arm here is not equal. See, this shot is, okay, it looks like this got photoshopped. You, look, you, see, you see the bottom of the neck right there? It looks like there's no separation. Yeah, it looks like they blended it in. Uh, again, with a poncho in, looks great. You know what? He looks great in action shots. Like when you kind of position him where, like this is, you know, not a good one. Because again, you can clearly see the, the uh, you know the non-proportionate body, you know from the head to the shoulders to the neck. But shots like this, you know, like you can hide some of the imperfections. It's it is doable. And again, I would get this guy. I would get him. The only question is when and for how much. Ideally, I want to get him for cheap. But if you're excited, I don't mind. I I mean, it's it's still a good-looking figure. It has some, you know has some issues to it but overall i i think i i'm i'm okay with getting him okay i'm a little disappointed i'm not gonna lie because the the prototype is just amazing it's just amazing and uh, you know it is what it is like this shot right here this, it just looks bad you see it looks like david beckham you know with the hair and the head that's not his fault but again the body just uh, without the shirt on still kind of small you know but we'll see we'll see i'm still interested i'm still gonna get him let me know in the comments down below is is this on your radar are you gonna pick him up or were you planning to pick him up and just canceled and how do you feel now how do you feel now is this something that you're just gonna pass altogether because of the issues that you've been hearing or you're still excited to get him or you're just like me it was like hey you know what the right price comes along i'm gonna go ahead and pick him up let me know in the comments down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thank you for watching. And once again, I do want to thank my members for continuing to uh, to support the channel. I really appreciate you guys. Subscribe if you haven't done so. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. And I'll see you guys in the next video.